Hi, this is Professor Hayes, and for the first part of the lesson, we are going to make a basically a signature on a photo. So, I know some of you did this in the other class. Uh, you were putting a logo on the photo. Uh, this time I want it really, really simple. We're all just going to do our own signature with a text. So, first have open any photo that you want to put a signature on, and then choose the text tool. On the text tool, let me, let me choose the text tool, there we go. On the text tool, you will get what's called an I-beam. And an I-beam is this little guy right here. Um, you'll notice that on the I-beam, there is a crosshair. Your crosshair is actually, anytime that you start drawing like a little rectangle or anything, that crosshair is going to be where it starts and where it ends. So draw an area where you'd like your signature. And then find a font that you would like. And you might have to do this several times. Just uh, for your first try, just go ahead and uh, I will pick, oh, uh, let's see. I will pick Edwardian script. There we go. Okay. Now, my photo is really big. And so I'm going to have to test a few sizes real quick. So I have it at 120 points. So if you want 120 point, you can just type it in, hit enter. That's a really big font. Um, I'm going to go ahead and type my name. And it is, could be even a lot bigger. Um, so I'll go uh, 200. Type it in there. Okay, so now it's large. Hey, you'll notice that I have a gray picked out. What I want you to do is go over and click on your swatches, and then you see a bunch of different levels of gray. If I choose this one, then I'll go through here. Uh, this is about 50%, and sometimes it will give me my text tools. Uh, oh, there we go, 65% gray. That one's 50% gray. Start with 50% gray, and then you can turn it darker depending on uh, what you like. Okay, next, you're going to go ahead and resize. So I got it real sharp here. I'm just going to kind of put it like that. And I'll go see what this is looking like. So I'll see that I have Rebecca Hayes right here. I'm going to use my move tool. I'm going to move it over a tad. There we go. I want all of these in the, kind of the bottom right of your picture um, and not real big. Um, any kind of signature that you put on the pictures, you want it to be there, but you don't want the eye to focus and go there. Like you just want it a tiny part of the picture. And actually, I can make this a lot smaller, but for purposes of uh, the class, we'll keep it larger. Okay, now um, go over to your layers window palette and click that on. I have two layers now. I have the photo picture and I have my text. If you double click anywhere in the blank part of the text, then you will get this layer style. So what I want to do is I want to bevel and emboss. And then I'm going to work with it. I can work with it um, however, you know, kind of, you know, in, out, whatever I want to do. Mess with it a little bit um, until I like the effect of it. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of leave it like this. Um, then go over, I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to go over to the um, to the blend mode for the type layer, and it's right here. Right now it's normal on this layer. I'm going to do hard light. And see, notice how it made it even lighter. So again, we want our signature on there, but you, you don't want it to be the focus of the picture. You want to kind of have to look for it. Okay. So now, a few tips that you can do here, too, is you can try different colors of gray. So I can go ahead and get on here and try maybe a darker gray. It's not making a huge difference. Or I guess I have to have it highlighted, huh? Uh, let me go here and get it highlighted and try different, different grays. That's a little bit darker. See how that looks. Uh, I think I like it lighter. Okay, so... Go ahead and go back to my lighter one, the 50% up here, and then 
um, I'm going to go ahead and put a copyright symbol in front of my name. So I want you all to put your name and then just click right in front of the first letter. And the shortcut for the copyright symbol, hold down your Alt key. And then in the numeric keypad, not on the numbers on the regular keyboard, in the numeric keypad, type 0169. And then that will throw a copyright. Now notice I lost my last name. No problem. I'm just going to make give it a little more room here. Okay. And now I have finished my signature.